we don't know if Kyrie's going to be there, but but D Rose on his own. What kind of a fit is that in this group? Do you think? I, I like it's a good. I think it's a good fit because once again, LeBron has shown me he's a great leader. Now, D Rose, are you willing to go into the gym and work on your jump shot flat out? Because LeBron James has shown us now at the year with 13, right? He's not giving the ball up early in the shot clock. He'll give the ball up late in the shot clock. That's why Kyrie was so good because when hey Kyrie go save us, five, four, three, two, one, great shot by Kyrie. Derrick Rose is not that player we once fell in love with being the youngest MVP in NBA history, but I still believe his numbers make sense, along with LeBron, Love, J.R. Smith, and other guys like that. I think it can make sense. Here's the question. You think about where D. Rose fits in, and initially when the team was talking to him, it's okay. You know, you're way younger than Darren Williams yes. and Calderon, who they brought in, with no offense to his age, because we're both old. But you look at the situation that you have there, and you're trying to fit him in with Kyrie. Now, if Kyrie is gone, how do the Cavaliers get to where they were? I understand they've got the best player in the world, but is it mellow? Do you have to look elsewhere? I mean, there would be a lot of questions now if they have to move Kyrie. Yeah, there, is, there are more questions. So if, if Derrick Rose is that guy, you're saying to yourself, how do we tweak our system for his skill set for us to be successful? Because giving up an all-star like Kyrie, he's already proven to us. He's a one-on-one -on -one guy, late in the shot clock. He can get anywhere on the floor and get a good shot off. Derrick Rose is different. That puts more pressure on Ty Lue and his coaching staff to tweak the offense a little bit. And I think defensively, if Derrick Rose now's body's right, he's a better defender overnight than Kyrie was. So now defensively you get better, but offensively may lose a little bit because Kyrie's proven what he can get done. But once again, it all falls back on LeBron's leadership, getting D. Rose into the system and making him feel comfortable.